Wake in white, Notre Dame in blue, Ron Gruber, Tommy Morrissey, Justin Porterfield, the officials. And away we go here in the second game of the day. Shrewsbury, he looked like he was going to set a back screen, but instead took a down screen. And he could have easily gotten a shot there if not for Hilton. Tay Davis spins inside and has it blocked by Andrew Carr. Carr did a nice job of walling up. Nobody stops the ball, and Salas buries a three. And Efton Reed down with the rebound. Efton Reed, their leading rebounder per game. Hoopy Miller wide open. And what a start for the Demon Deacons. And this Wake Forest team is tough to pack it in on because they've got so many good shooters. Loose ball bounced right into the hands of Andrew Carr. Burton behind the back, picks up the dribble. Here's Roper. Burton launches and hits a deep three. He is just fearless. Four Notre Dame players. Carr comes out with it. And Salas converts. And what a great play by Andrew Carr. Comes down with the ball and then nowhere to go. Tries to throw it off Zona. And Hunter Salas right there for the finish. And to see the whole family together here with the ACC tournament. Well, Steve Forbes, you're not going to find a better guy. He's just uh, got a huge heart. Boopy Miller, coast to coast. Their will on both ends. Watch, watch Zach Keller right in the middle of the lane in help side defense. And that started the break of Boopy Miller. Take a basketball and go end to end and see who's faster. You go in any scouting report in America and you think it's going to be a shutout. Burton gets the bounce. Irish within 11. Averages over 17 points per game. Had 31 last time they played against Wake Forest because he can make. Good fakes by Fredrickson. Carr, little bounce pass to oh. Marsh. Marsh right in the dunker spot. BN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Principal. Let our expertise round. Wake doing a good job staying in front of Notre Dame drivers, but Roper spins right by his man this time and lays it in. First points of the night. Jai lost it. Here comes Miller. Missed it, but look at Carr running the floor. Didn't give up on the play. And then boop, it's gone. Then he's gone. And watch Carr does not quit on the play and winds up getting the stick back. Nine rebounds and eight points. Three blocks as well. And he's into double figures now as he slams it home. Efton Reed with the assist. That's where Carr is. And as soon as the ball goes in, you got to... Uh, Double team, and then that means take Zag last year as a reserve. And now back as a starter at Wake, his third school in as many years. And if they give him credit for another assist, that'll be his fifth as Boopy Miller knocks it down. Oh, great play by Hildreth. He just read the eyes of Shrewsbury, I think, knew the ball was coming to him, and lays it in. Arms up. Because he couldn't even see it. And then takes it the other way. And this, he really looks like Dante DiVincenzo. First half of taking advantage of the openings that were provided by all the attention on Burton and Shrewsbury. Filled with no Irish ball. Well, Wake Forest really had a chance to stretch this lead out. How did he get through there? Burton just kept driving and found himself at the rim. Back down to single digits. Are back in the game with that foul trouble. Hildreth, no. And Carr keeps it alive and lays it in. That's exactly what he was doing the whole first half. Burton, the spin and the kick. Knocked away by Fredrickson. And he lays it in at the other end. Active hands by Fredrickson, taking it the other way. And then you can see just tucked. Knocked away. Boy, Fredrickson's really been in the passing lanes, hasn't he? Salas at the other end. Another great play. Dip hands led to a run out. Recovering, keeping his hands up. And all of a sudden, Wake Forest out in transition for an easy one. Salas open in the corner. Air ball on the three. Reed with a putback. Efton Reed just... 
caught that air ball and then has a little rip through to get to his right hand. Finished. Salas splits the double, missed it. Rebound read. He'll kick it back out. Hildreth up and under. It's a terrific job of using the rim so that Booth can't block. Both teams are going to come out playing like it's Saturday night in the ACC championship game. And they should. I'm not sure it is an elimination game, but you always want it. It's certainly an elimination game for the ACC championship. Won't go down for Booth. The rebound for Hildreth. The shot clock turned off. Uh, they built on their lead in the second half, and boy, oh boy, it's going to be fun when the Deeks and the Panthers meet in the quarterfinals tomorrow afternoon.